Right. Mm -hmm. it, whilst we're into your own act, I also remember ten years ago, your own act uh, was fairly wild. You, you came on to Bebop Alula, and of course everybody went mad, and you always used to dress in black leather, as I remember in those days. Well, you know... You still, do you still wear this gear? Yeah, I wear black leather. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a different type of person, I guess, than any other man. Uh, I drink, smoke, cuss, and go out with women. I suppose that no, no other no other buddy does that. At least they won't admit it. I suppose you don't. Oh, but I do. Yeah, I well, do. yeah, right. At least you admit it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not no. The fact that you wear black leather is only part of it. You're also uh, now, you well, seem I... to use your affliction too in your stage act. The fact that you that you wear a leg iron. I remember this at the time as no, being. I don't have one leg now. You only have one. Yeah. But at the time you it's used your. Uh, no, it, it was painful, and uh, I put my weight on one leg so I can hold it there and do the act for my audience that I should do, that they paid to see. When my audience paid to see something, I must give them my best, no matter how I feel. Yeah, uh, sometimes the pain is bad, uh, when the weather's nice, it's it's pretty good. Now, um, you can check my records at Naval Headquarters at Groven Square. You can, I was also ordered back from Mildenhall by the 48th Technical Air Force because my leg was so bad. And my records are there for you to see. So you're saying, you, in but, fact, you played on, really, when you shouldn't have been playing. That's right. I shouldn't be here now. Yeah, the audience... Because of the gear you wear, do you think you attract a certain sort of audience? Rockers, for example? No, sir, I can please my audience. But you must know over the years the sort of people who come to see you. Is there one group that stands out? Uh, Kids yeah. on motorbikes? No, the older people. Uh, we draw a lot of older people, about 40 now. And uh, they like me, and... I like them. We get along quite well together. Yeah, but what about young kids, too, in their late teens? Well, the, the young kids now don't come see me anymore, you know. It's the 21, 22s, and I'll say up to 40, you know. And what sort of music are you, are you into now, Gene? Same thing I do. I, I do exactly what they want me to do. I mean, you still play the old rock and roll numbers? I try to put in uh, some of the newer ones, which they uh, sometimes won't accept. So I change immediately. Now, other old rock and rollers like Jerry Lewis have, in a way, uh, changed with the times. Now, Jerry Lee has left behind his breathless and great balls of fire days that he, you were into when he was into his sort of music. And now he plays more country music because that way he knows he can keep abreast with changes. Why haven't you done this? Oh, well, I'm getting ready to do it now. But, um... Actually, um, I love rock and roll, and I was in it from the start. And really, there's not that much difference in between country and rock and roll. There's not much, really that much difference. And Jerry Lee, to me, is doing what he done in the 1950s. In the 50s. He was playing country music before he went into That's rock true. and roll. And he's That's really true. come full circle. Right. Do you play country music? Yeah, very well. What sort of thing, I mean? Well, actually, um, I'm a musician and a singer, and I can sing just about anything that you want to put in front of me, as long as it doesn't come up into opera or, or semi-opera or something like that. Um, I love to listen to that type of music, but uh, I can sing just about anything I want to sing. Yeah, but could you... Could yeah, you? I'm an artist. That's what I'm paid to do, isn't it? But if, as you say, you don't attract the young kids anymore, it's mainly people who are still old rock and rollers and older, uh, haven't you thought of changing your style so you come on well, just said, as a straight country artist? Uh, uh, no, I, I can never do that. You couldn't do that? No. Jerry, Why not? Jerry don't do it as well. Well, he plays a lot of country music records now. I mean, yeah, well, he plays a lot, but he still does his whole lot of shaking going on, 
And in England, he can't get off a stage unless they... unless he does it. Yes. Do you think... kids, as... Uh, uh, the sort of kids who used to come to your performances in the late 50s, today are missing out on something by not appreciating the old oh, style Oh, they do appreciate the, the biggest group in the world used to be called the Beatles and uh, the Rolling Stones. But the our biggest group in the United States now is called Creedence Clearwater. And he does old, stinking rock and roll. And it's funky and it's low down. And he pulls it right from the bottom of his feet, right from his heart. To see Creedence, you, um, you probably hate him to see him. But I love that man can sing. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, I haven't ever seen an artist I didn't like, really. They can do something well. Some of the things they do I don't like, but some of the things they... But uh, I cannot judge your music. Now, um, a lot of people and a lot of promoters um, will pay you to do a show and they want to enter your personal life as well, which to me is not, uh, is not right on. It's not gin. It's not good. Um, they want to enter the artist's private life, which my life is private, and I like to keep it that way. But what I do when I get on stage is entirely different. And what my public wants me to do is what I'll do. And I will not have no uh, cigar-smoking little man sitting out there judging my, judging my public or telling my public what they should do, what they should like. Because if the public don't like me, they won't pay and come see me. And I think I speak for not only myself, but for every British artist in the country, and they know what I'm talking about. But this sort of... Uh tough line, this sort of independence you want must have got you into trouble or lost your work in the past. I don't need your work. Really, uh, I don't have to work. I don't have to. I'm paid by the United States government. Um, you're, you're, I'm sorry, you're paid by the U.S. government? Yes. How is that? Uh, I'm in the Navy. I was hurt. Oh, I see. You, you get uh, yeah. a pension, all right. Yeah, I, said, I told you before, when I was 17, I was in the Navy. And, and uh, it's not a pension, no, it's... Um, a disability right. payment yeah, or something? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you don't have to work? You No. And where do you spend most of the time? You've just come back from Los Angeles. No, I spend most of the time with my wife and four children. Very wise, too. Um, my son was just accepting the Naval Academy, which... Uh, being a disabled officer, uh, I'm allowed to recommend him. And he was accepted, thank God. You know, and uh, I'm very proud of that. But um, I think it's just about high time that some artists got up and stood up and said, look, these cigar-smoking fat slobs are not allowed to tell the British public what they like and what they dislike. Let them decide. 